Hello everyone, Adi Simeon, Coldwell Banker. Today I want to talk to you about an issue that's been coming up a lot. I've talked about it on, on a lot of video, but I want to press it again because it's very important. Let's say you bought your house 15, 20, 30, 40 years ago and you gain a lot of value on it and you want to sell now, but you're afraid to sell because the new house you're buying, you have to pay the tax rate at the actual tax rate of the sale, which is 1% and a quarter of the purchase price. You now have, since you bought it a long time ago, your tax rate is very low. And if you sell and buy a new property, your tax rate skyrockets. So you're afraid of doing that. A lot of people don't sell their properties because of that. But there is a way to keep your old low tax rate. You just have to qualify for it. There are a couple of things that the county requires you to do in order for you to qualify for this. The first and the most important one, you have to be 55 years or older. So um, if you are, then you qualify for it. Secondly, uh, you have to move into the same county. If you willing to move to a, sec to a different county, you have to check with the county. It's called Proposition 90. The one that I'm talking about is Proposition 60. It's been voted and it's an active right now. It's working. But Prop 90, it, it goes to explain if the counties cooperate with each other. So let's say you move out of LA County, you go into Orange County, you got to make sure the two counties uh, um, sign up for that Prop 90. So that's the second one, the county. Um, the best way to do is to stay in within the same county. Third, the house has to be your primary residence. You cannot do that with a investment property. Um, the fourth, the value. The value of the new property has to be equal or lower than the property you're buying. So when you downsize, that works for you, right? Because you have sold for $3 million and you want to buy a $1 million property home, you do qualify for that. So you have to be equal or lesser value of the property you're selling. Buy first and then sell later. You have two years to sell your primary residence. You can buy a small property and then take your time two years to sell your primary residence. Another thing is the property has to be sold at the value of today's market. So it has to be appraised and sold at the value of today's market. You can you can gift it to your children or your family for nothing, right? You can't. You have to show that your property was appraised through the sale and it came up at the today's value. Um, that's another big thing. And then you have to fly, uh, file the claim with the county. So once you do all this, you, um, you sell and you buy, you have to file it with the county and the county will give you that old tax rate. You will save a lot of money. A lot of people are not doing it because they don't know about it. So just Google Prop 60 and Prop 90 and get familiar with it or give me a call and I'll explain you a little more in detail uh, of what's going on with this. That's all I needed to talk to you about today. Adi Simeon, Coldwell Banker. If you like what you hear, please do subscribe to my channel, like my page, follow me on Instagram. I do a lot of these videos. I also have a, um, um, a podcast, so please do um, follow me on social media. Thank you very much. Talk to you soon. Bye.